your way in this place. Have your way in our hearts, Lord. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you for your presence in our lives, God. We thank you for carrying us in every season of our lives. Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. And I ask that God, that you would encounter them. Whatever they are trusting you for, whatever they are believing you for, Father, that you would give them a testimony, that they would testify that you are God, that you are faithful, that you are the God who made them, who care for them, who will carry them through everything that they walk through, Lord. Father, we just pray over the service. We pray over the, the worship, God. We pray that, God, that you would inhabit our praises as we surrender to you, Father. Move in us. Move in ways that you alone can do, Father God. We thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a great Sunday. Hallelujah. Come and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hands in his presence this morning. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you in this place, Lord. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are worthy of our praise, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We shout hallelujah. Worthy is your name, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are beautiful, God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Can you clap your hands this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome the Lord in this place this morning. Hallelujah. If you're ready to praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, wave your hands this morning. Wave your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just take a few seconds to thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you for this week, Lord God. We thank you for everybody that's here in this place, Lord. Thank you for allowing us, Father God, to worship you one more time hallelujah thank you father god for allowing us for giving us the privilege lord to be in your presence worshiping you praising you lord god hallelujah thank you for your mercy thank you for your grace father god we are grateful god hallelujah thank you jesus are you ready to praise the lord this morning Jesus, you love me too much, oh. And I know you definitely have a testimony. Hallelujah. While you're singing this song, I'm pretty sure you have something you can think of. I'm sure you have something you can think of while you're singing. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. And so I'm inviting you to praise the Lord with a smile on your face this morning. Because Jesus, you love us too too much oh hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus yes lord
tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone hallelujah see your presence lord your presence lord hallelujah we're gonna say it one more time there's nothing worth more there's nothing worth more that will ever come close
nothing else matters but your presence, your presence, your presence. We don't care about anything else but your presence, your presence. Can you say that? Your presence, Lord. We're not asking for anything but your presence, your presence, your presence, Lord.
to be glorified. You are worthy 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 to be worshipped, God. We worship you. 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 We worship you, God. the book of Mark I'm going into verse 11 chapter 11 excuse me I'm going into the book of Mark chapter 11 and then after I'm gonna go to Ephesians hallelujah I'm gonna ask sister blessing can you assist me Mark 11 Mark chapter 11, verse 15 through 17. Then they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were buying and selling in the temple. Après ça, il arrivait Jérusalem, Jésus entrait dans le temple. Il prend chasse tout le monde qui t'a vendu, tout le monde qui t'a acheté dans le temple. And overturn the table of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. Il vire table monde qui t'a changé l'argent yo ensemble avec chaise monde qui t'a vendu pigeon yo. And he would and he would not permit anyone to carry merchandise through the temple. And he began to teach and say to them, Is it not written? My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. But you have made it a robber's den. I want to encourage you all here this morning. 
Those who get angry very quickly. Ça qui fâche facile. Those who get frustrated very quickly. Ça qui frustre facile. And then it causes you to sin. Et puis il cause elle pour pécher. Here, Jesus was very upset. Là, Jésus était tellement fâché. He turned tables. Il virait table. He was very angry at them because what they were doing in the temple of God. But I want you to understand the issue is not the frustration and the anger. It's what you do with that anger that causes you to sin. See, the frustration that Jesus had because it was unjust inside the temple. God has a high tolerance for prayer and holiness but he is he, but he doesn't like unjust. He has a low tolerance for that. Turn with me, Ephesians 4. And I hope you got a chance to read the book of Ephesians like Pastor had asked us to do. Turn with me, Ephesians 4, verse 26 through 27. And God, I live in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7, 4. I'm so que to read Ephesians in the next week. And this will bring it all together. It says, be angry and yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Ephesians 4, verse 76, Vito. Si nous en colère, veillez comme nous pour nous pas coller à, pour coller à, pas faire nous. Faire ça qui mal, pas à dormir à coller dans le nous. And do not give the devil an opportunity. And do not give the devil an opportunity. I think about my son here, Levi. I can see that he has, um, sometimes he gets very excited. And sometimes he gets angry at his older sister. And sometimes he will throw things. Sometimes he will hit her. But I cannot allow that anger to remain even when the sun goes down. That's what the verse is saying. My husband, his father, takes the responsibility to pull Levi aside and talk to him about his anger, making sure that he's filtering out his anger in the correct way. Yes, we get frustrated. Yes, as men and women, we get angry. But do not allow the anger to cause you to sin. We must be very careful. And now I'm, I'm talking to the men here. Men who are fathers. Men who are husbands. Men who are a son. Men who are trusting the Lord for something. No matter what area you are in your life, be very careful of how you get upset and what you get upset at and what you do after that frustration. Here's the, the declaration we're going to make tonight, I mean this morning. I will not let my anger cause me to sin. I will not allow my anger cause me to sin. As we get frustrated, the world that we live in, there's mass shootings all over the place. 
There's um, children dying. Sometimes in the workplace, it's so frustrating. The minute you step into the place, you can sense like there's an issue. And it makes you want to get frustrated. But don't allow that frustration to cause you to sin. That's what God was saying in Ephesians. Be angry and not sin. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry. That means don't allow yourself to go out throughout the day still frustrated and angry. God has left with us someone called the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is all powerful, all knowing. He can do all things. You are not too far in your frustration. You are not too far in your anger. Let's do this prayer with me. I will let the power. Let's do it on three. One, two, three, big and loud. I will let the power. I will let the power of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. To guide me. To guide me. I will let the power. I will let the power of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. To guide me. To guide me. Say it in Creole. I will let the power of the Holy Spirit to guide me in my frustration, in my anger, when I don't know, when I cannot anymore, when I'm weak, when I'm tired, when I cannot no more. Jesus. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you know deep down inside, that's you. Some of you say, Sister D, that's me. That's me. That's me at the workplace. That's me at home, God. That's me. You talking about me? That's me, God. When I'm at work, God. When I'm at work. When I'm at home. That's me, Lord. Hallelujah. just acknowledge our neighbor and say neighbor you got this can't we just encourage our neighbor the person that's next to you say hey you got this you got this you got this in the workplace you got this in your marriage you got this in your relationship listen you got this you got this Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. You got this because of the power of the Holy Spirit that is inside of you. Hallelujah. Uka continue a cause puissance Saint Esprit qui en down. 
Hallelujah, praise God. Welcome to Christ City Church. Matin à tous, bienvenue dans l'église Christ City. Nous saluons où? Vision on Christ City Church. Our vision here at Christ City Church is to see this world, our generation, testify. Uh, so that is our vision. So again, we say welcome you. Uh, we welcome you to our church this morning. Those of you who are watching us on YouTube, we greet you and we welcome you here at Christ City Church. Um, with that being said, I want to take the time to acknowledge uh, if anybody is visiting for the very first time. Ceci étant dit, nous avons pris temps pour nous. If you are visiting us for the first time, would you just raise your hand? I don't want to embarrass you, but just raise your hand. Hallelujah. We got one, two, anybody else? Three, four, trois, quatre. Can, church, can we give them a great Christ City welcome? Come on, church, you can do better than that. Hallelujah. Say welcome to Christ City Church. Hallelujah. Welcome. Welcome to Christ City Church. It is such a pleasure to have you here uh, with us. My name is Pastor Melky, and uh, I have the honor of uh, being one of the leaders here at Christ City Church. Non, moi, c'est Pastor Melky. Moi, c'est une leader dans Christ City Church. Et bon Dieu, mettez-nous là pour nous témoigner au nom de Jésus. We also have a connect card for you. I'm not sure if our, um, if our uh, serve team gave you a connect card. But this Connect card, it will allow for us to just stay in touch with you. And um, if there's anything that's happening here in our midst, um, we would uh, love to stay in touch with you. We also put a little gift in the card for you um, as a token of our appreciation of you being here and worshiping with us here at Christ. City Church. Hallelujah. I want to take this time. Um, we have uh, those of you who are not following our social media pages, I want to give you the opportunity. I want to challenge you this morning to uh, follow us on our different social media platforms on YouTube, on Instagram, and also on Facebook. Uh, you will get to know more about Christ City Church. You will see some of our uh, messages on these social media platforms. And um, so if you haven't done so yet, you can look us up. All you have to do is put our handle, whether it's, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, you can put our handle, which is We Are Christ City, and then you will be able to follow us. It would be an honor for you to uh, uh, either follow us or subscribe to our page, and um, we know that it'll be a blessing for you. So you can do that right now. Follow us on our different social media pages in Jesus' name. A few announcements before we, we move forward um, in our service this morning. This morning we have uh, our Bible study. I wanted to let you know this week we have our Bible study on Wednesday. Wednesday here at the school in one of the classrooms of the school. September 13th we have our Bible study and the topic of our Bible study is spiritual warfare. Okay, so last time we had Bible study, those of you who were there, we made a difference between the spirit, the soul, and the body. A lot of people were asking questions about that, right? The spirit, the soul, and the body. Pastor Melky, what is the difference? So during our Bible study, we'll get to kind of dive deeper into that um, during our Bible study. Nous avons étudié biblique nous, mercredi prochain si tu veux, le 13 septembre, et thème étudié biblique là, c'est la guerre spirituelle. Um, semaine passée ou bien uh, mois passé nous t'ai parlé de la guerre spirituelle nous t'ai fait différence entre uh, l'âme le corps et l'esprit OK il y a une différence entre l'esprit l'âme et, et le corps et pour capable comprendre guerre spirituelle faut qu'on vraiment ca comprendre différence qui gagne entre l'esprit l'âme et le corps nous t'ai parlé de tout ça yo. so this wednesday our bible study at 7 p.m. here at the school do not miss it It'll be a great time growing and learning the Word of God together. Now, now, that being said, we usually have our prayer on Wednesday. So because of Bible study that's happening on Wednesday, our, our weekly Zoom prayer is going to be on Tuesday instead. Okay? Ceci étant dit, nous, généralement, nous avons prière nous les mercredis sous Zoom. 
à cause que nous avons gagné étude biblique là sous Zoom. Donc nous avons changé la prière là, nous avons fait prière là mardi. Au lieu de mercredi, nous avons fait prière là mardi. Ok, donc ou même qui t'a même participé ensemble avec nous mardi, toute information Zoom est disponible pour être capable de participer ensemble avec nous dans le temps de prière que nous gagnons chaque semaine. Ok, so, dit, mardi, il une prière, mercredi, étude biblique. Et um, uh, fait annonce ça aussi. We also want to make this announcement that we have our next bonfire. All right, so those of you who don't know, our bonfire is a time where we get to just connect together outside of the church walls. This is where discipleship happens. This is where we grow together as a church family. Our last bonfire was July 4th, and it was just a, such a great time as a church family. We did uh, some barbecuing. We did a lot of great things. And so this edition of our bonfire is a couple's edition. So I know we have some married couples here. We had some, some couples that are dating here at Christ City Church. So this is your opportunity to, uh, this is actually, this is for the men. If the men are listening, this is your opportunity to take your wife out on a date. All right. This is your opportunity to take your girlfriend out on a date or whoever it may be, someone you're, let's say it's someone that you're interested in. All right. So. You know, you can uh, you can have them come also to this bonfire, couples edition, and we know it's going to be a great time. It is Saturday, September 23rd, and it's also, the address is going to be determined. We'll let you know of the address, but uh, we would like for you to um, RSVP, so that way we can make preparation. Um, we need at least 10 couples to be able to, to do this event. So 10 couples to participate in this bonfire. Uh, you can contact us on the number that is on the screen, the 561-614-6455 number, and register you and your boo. You and your boo can be part of this event on September 23rd, Lord's willing, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Is that a right church? Is the church here with me? Is the church here with me? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And now, uh, before we go f further, um, it is time for us to listen to the word of God. But before we go further, listening to the word of God, I just want to take this time to just, uh, there's a song that the Lord put in my heart this morning that I would like uh, for us to just worship to. Um, sometimes in life, uh, we look forward to the blessings, but we forget to count the blessings that God has already given us. A pile fois dans la vie, nous c'est tellement cherché bénédiction, nous oublier compter bénédiction que nous déjà gagné. Nous oublier compter ça qu'il t'a fait 10 ans de cela, 5 ans de cela, 2 ans de cela. Nous oublier, nous oublier compter bénédiction ça. So, can you sing with me? It says count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Hallelujah. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings name them one by one count your blessings see what God has done come on count your blessings name them one by one count your blessings count your blessings see what God your blessings, name them one by one, count your blessings, see what God has, compte, compte la bienfaite de Dieu, mais les tous devant, 
God to count our blessings. <laughs> Let me say it again. One by one, we ought to count our blessings. One by one, we ought to. One by one, we ought to count our. All right. Your health. Oh, let's start there. Let's start there. Let's start there. Your health is a blessing. If you came here on your own two feet, you walked here on your own two feet, that's a blessing. If you ate this morning, Amen. if you ate this morning, Amen. that's a blessing. If you have family, if you have people who care for you, that's a blessing. You may not have much in the bank account, but if you have more than a dollar in your bank account, that's a blessing. There are people who work for five months and who never earn a dollar. <laughs> so if you have a dollar, it is a blessing. So what I'm going to ask you to do, just get on your feet. Some things, it's better to receive them on your feet. And I want you guys to give me a little bit of compa. Ma mando pour camper sous pied. Gien quelque gien quelque bagage, gien quelque petit louange. C'est camper sous sous pied pour prendre yo parce que l'on chita ou un petit Jean Marie ou un petit Jean Rien. There are certain things that God has done for you. You really have to rewind. Where were you five years ago? Quand on était à cinq ans de cela, quand on était à deux ans de cela, quand on était à dix ans de cela. And when you think of these things, it'll push you to want to worship and to praise. The name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
lever même Mais bon Dieu senti J'aime reconnaissant Pour l'évangile Pour l'évangile Que m'attendait Sans pas payer Sans pas payer C'est pas l'argent Qui mettait ma ça c'est un plat, bon Dieu fait, ma pleuve fait, fait bon Dieu senti, j'en songs growing up as a child we sing them in church but you know as a child or as a teenager you just kind of like uh you know it's a boring song until life hits you and you see yourself inside of this song now and now you can count your blessings and you see as a child the, your parents are paying the bills you know everyone is kind of taking care of things for you but when you get into adulthood and then you see God take care of you month after month after month and year after year after year then you, these songs start to make sense let me count my blessings and name them one by one that dit quelque quelque chose pas doit grandir et quelque chose vous tendez nous même si nous connait dans des grands monde a a chanter chant ça pendant n'a grandi pour nous même a un bon chant bagaille nous pas même nous pas même connait ça a chant veut dire mais l'eau vient grand monde ou vient comprendre qu'on raison qui te fait maman pas pour t'a chanter chant ça yo ou vient voir que chant ça chant ça côté côté là dit compter les bienfaits de Dieu l'autre est petit c'est tout monde c'est maman ou vient papa qui a prend soin tout bagaille pour vous qui a payer bill qui a payer électricité mais qu'on yo vient grand monde l'eau vient qui maturité ou réaliser ah moi ca compter les bienfaits de Dieu vraiment vrai hallelujah can we give god a round of applause one more time Hallelujah. So Adrien, it's good to see you. Nukota wo, nukota wo, sama avec nous atea. Praise God for you and each and every one of you who are here visiting us. Again, we thank you. This morning we're gonna go right into the Word of God. I'm gonna welcome um, a friend, a servant of God, who um, has been with us since we launched Christ City Church. Um, maybe the best way that I can describe this this person is a servant. From beginning to end, uh, from the first time that we launched Christ City Church, depuis première fois que nous t'ai lancé l'église Christ City, uh, l'était là ensemble avec nous, et lui bail toute lui-même, toute famille, 
c'est eux même qui premier venu et le dimanche comme ça c'est eux même qui premier venu et c'est eux même tout qui dernier sorti le dimanche comme ça donc uh, bon Dieu bénis nous du, du fait que nous gagnons des serviteurs des mondes qui 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 compte ça ça veut dire servir bon Dieu we are blessed that the Lord has sent uh, servants uh, people who understand what it is to serve God so this morning I would like to thank the Lord and I would like for you to thank God for the love for the life of our brother brother Bene who will be bringing the word here at Christ City Church come on church let's give it up to the Lord thank you. hallelujah praise God Lord, I come this morning with a grateful heart, a heart full of gratitude for what you've done in my life, in my family's life. I don't have words to express it, but yet, Lord, I am grateful. I thank you. I love you, Jesus. Mwen sonje ki wout ke ou fe avek mwen. Mwen sonje ki kote ou sorti avek mwen. Mate an cha pale de gratitude. And I know exactly where you grab me from. And today, I can be here talking about your love for me. To present my gratitude to you. I thank you. And I know each and every one that's here this morning, they have a word, they have a heart of gratitude. When I think of it, people who are born in this country, they are living in this street. They have a sign that they're begging. But God, wherever we came from deep in Haiti, you bless us. We don't have that card in our hands asking, begging parce que vous fait provision ou prend soin nous matin en après merci ou matin en après ou gloire seigneur ou grâce ou dans la vie nous ou ba nos machines pour nous courir ou ba nos cailles pour nous rester ou ba nos foyers ou ba nos familles ou ba nos petites nous remercier ou matin en temps prie recevoir adoration qui sorti dans fond cœur au nom de Jésus amen brothers and sisters as i was preparing for today's conversation i came across of a very interesting statement by Gerald Branch. It reads as this. I quote, As we read the, the Bible, regardless of whether it is the Old Testament or the New Testament, whenever we read about God's people getting in trouble or having trouble, the root of the problem can almost always be traced to deeper spiritual problem. And a spiritual problem always is a relationship problem. This is a very powerful statement that can create a lot of debate. A lot of people would agree with this statement, and a lot of people would uh, disagree. Li di kon sa, quel que soit livre que wa pli nan Biblan, ou bien se Nouveau Testament, ou bien se Ancien Testament, le wa pli, pe bon Dieu a ki te kon genye problem, nan quel que soit problem que yo te genye, ou ka toujou trase problem sa a yon problem spirituel. E problem spirituel yo, majorite de fwa, yo se problem relasyon. Se sa, statement nan di. E mwen 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 trouve ke li interesan, sa ka koze an pil deba, gen pil moun ki ka dako avek li, gen moun ki ka pa dako 
pour mon nom dit comme ça que chaque problème yo quel que soit nature problème que soit degré problème non les cas ont problème spirituel et s'il y a un problème spirituel les automatiquement y ont problème relation so this morning i want to talk to you about relationship this is a very sensitive interesting subject i can tell you i am not an expert in relationship far from that i am not an expert and i will be very careful with it because i may want to come back to it matin moi vle parler avec vous de relation c'est un sujet qui sensible et m'a prend pile précaution parce que on ta remet tourner dans sujet ça encore dans une autre occasion if you type in google relationship please don't do it now please don't do it now if you go to google you type relationship it would read like this relationship is the way in which two or more concepts objects or people are connected or the state of being connected if i understand in order to in order to have a relationship you need at least two or more it could be an item could be an object or it could be people when a few things connected to each other it's become a relationship donc le n'a parlé de relation nous parler de deux bagages ou bien objet ou bien monde les ou connecté ensemble ou automatiquement joindre ça ou relé relation now we understand the meaning of relationship now we understand what relationship is all about but this thing called relation where does it begin how or what are we talking about when did it start ces questions ça on t'a aimé poser n'a parlé de relation qui le relation vient commencer The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 God says let us making make a mankind in our image in our likeness It is not me it is not my word it's the word of God except my belief of this statement it was a conversation with a group of people and the group of people that were having this conversation i firmly believe that's where relationship started and that was god the father god the son and god the holy spirit having a conversation with each other pour moi-même dans compréhension pam moi réaliser c'est là relation qui a commencé parce que l'éternel t'a parlé il dit en nous fait l'homme en nous fait l'homme s'il dit en nous fait l'homme là moi pluriel moi plusieurs monde et il dit en nous fait l'homme non avec image nous qui semblait avec nous moins ouais un groupe de monde qui a parlé ensemble et moins quoi c'était papa petit lan saint esprit 
qui t'a parlé ensemble. Il continue pour le dire en Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. It says two are better than one. You know why? Because they have a good return for their labor. Two. Deux plus fort que un. Deux plus bon passé un. Brothers and sisters, I look at all of this to tell you it doesn't matter if you are single, if you are married, if you are divorced, or let's say it's complicated. It doesn't matter in what type of relationship you are in right now, what the level of your relationship is right now, I'm here to tell you that God wants you to have successful relationship. Yes, God doesn't want you to be alone. I don't need to know what relation is actually si vous marié, si vous célibataire, si vous divorcé, ou bien situation pour l'an tellement compliquée ou pas qu'on position pour l'an. Mais je tiens, moi je voulais encourager ou, moi je voulais dire que bon Dieu voulait pour gagner une relation avec succès. Bon Dieu pas voulait pour être pour compte. God doesn't want you to be alone. However, but God wants to have relations, relationship with you first. Before you can have relationship with others, God wants to have relationship with you first. Now, This morning, my question to you, how is your relationship with God? Maybe the better question is, how are you connected with God? If everything, all the problem, all the situations could be spiritual and become relationship so how is your relationship with God si tout ça que nous dit tout problème que n'a confronté yo yo en rapport avec un bagage spirituel ou du moins si le spirituel yo vinn relation question moi qui relation avec bon Dieu comment connecter avec bon Dieu The Bible talk about the life of Job. Job had a great relationship with God to the point where God was bragging to Satan about Job. Job était tellement bon bon relation avec bon Dieu. Bon Dieu t'a fait louange pour Job ensemble avec Satan. When the angels come before God, Satan was there. And God asked uh, Satan, where have you been? That's uh, Job chapter 1 and 2. Satan, where have you been? And Satan answered, I've been traveling the earth. Les angels paraît devant Seigneur Satan est là tout et puis bon Dieu mande Satan qui quoi toi tayer Satan dit me t'a pas courir la terre God so proud of his relationship with Job and God says what do you think of my, my servant Job There is none on earth like him. 
Bon Dieu m'a dit Satan, qui sont pensés de serviteur moi en job? Pas qu'un autre monde sous la terre tant cool, qui sincère tant cool. You know what Satan reply? It is normal for him to be faithful to you. It is normal for him to love you so much because look at him. Look at his wealth. Look at how you bless him. Satan dit c'est normal pour Job aimer on comme ça pour le fidèle envers vous parce que vous bénis en pile. The Bible says uh, Job was uh, one of the richest uh, person on earth at that time in his uh, generation. One of them, the richest. Job te gagne pile bien. Il était riche. Bon Dieu te bénit. And Satan realized that's why Job so loved uh, the Lord. That's why the relationship uh, between God and Job was so successful. God says, no, that's not the case. If that's what you think, I allowed him to attack him however you want. But do not kill him. Bon Dieu, by Satan permission pour attaquer Job. Parce que Bon Dieu était tellement fier de relationner ensemble avec Job. He allowed Satan to attack Job. And Satan was happy to do so. Start killing his uh, children, his uh, wealth, start uh, depleting. And Satan come back the second time after all those attacks uh, on Job's. And Satan come back. Lord, still see in Job the faithfulness of their relationship. And God goes, Hey, Satan, what do you think of my servant Job? After you attacked uh, his life, after you attacked him, what do you think of uh, my servant Job? Satan, being Satan, he goes, it is normal for Job to still love you because you never attacked uh, Job personally. You take all his uh, wealth, all the, his uh, children, but him personally, you've done nothing to him. Satan tout n'est oui. Et l'Éternel pose la même question. Qui sont pensés de serviteur maintenant, Job? Il dit, c'est normal pour Job continuer à aimer, parce que ou attaquer bien Job, ou attaquer petit Job, mais ou pas jamais attaquer Job lui-même personnellement. God agree. That's how strong, that's how powerful, successful Job's relationship was with God. God allowed Satan to go ahead and attack Job personally. What Satan did, he sent sickness unto Joseph. I'm, I'm sorry, unto uh, Job. Job start getting sick and sick, sicker every day to the point where his wife suggested that he curse God. Job said, don't talk like a fool. Satan, oui. La lélie attaque santé Job. Job tombé malade. Jusqu'à ce que Madame ni Mandel pour lui renoncer, bon Dieu. Job dit non. If we can take the blessings of God, we can also take the tribulations. So Job resisted. B 
because of his relationship with God. Brothers and sisters, what is, how is your relationship with God? Can God count on you? What can separate you with God? What tribulation, what sickness that can separate you, that can break your relationship with God? Can you be like Job? Can God count on you to be like Job? Oui, Maxime. Qui ça qui a séparé ou du moins interrompre relation avec bon Dieu? Est-ce que bon Dieu qui a compté sur vous, même j'en ai compté, sur Job? Est-ce que bon Dieu qui a parlé avec Satan, même j'en ai de ou même, même j'en ai culté parlé avec Satan de Job? Qui ça? Qui ça? qui a interrompu relation ensemble avec mon Dieu. Quand si tu réfléchis sur lui, tu vois qui ça. What can separate or what can break your relationship with God? By hearing all of this, maybe you tell you asking me the question now because I've been asking you question. Now, maybe that's uh, the question that you are asking. Brother Bennett, how can I start or grow a relationship with God? Peut-être vous posez moi question ça. Comment on peut commencer ou du moins on peut grandir une relation avec bon Dieu? As I told you at the beginning, I'm not an expert in this subject. However, I know two good and reliable ways that you can begin or you can grow a relationship with God. Tant qu'on me dit on a commencement, on pas un expert, on pas un savant dans sujet. Même qu'on ait deux moyens efficaces Moi connais deux moyens qui réel que ou capable commencer ou du moins ou capable grandir une relation avec bon Dieu. Number 1 read the Bible. We know this because the Bible is the way that God reveal himself to us. Prophet Isaiah remind us of that. If we read Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, he says, the grace, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God endures forever. Zeblan séché tomber mais la parole de Dieu rete pour jamais so by reading the bible you can start or grow a deeper relationship with God because through the word God will reveal himself to you and that's all you can start or grow a relationship with God. Meilleur façon que me connais que ou capable grandir ou du moins ça gagner une relation avec bon Dieu, c'est leur li bible. Bible c'est moyen que bon Dieu révéler vili ou du moins révéler relation li à nous-mêmes. Dans Ésaïe 40 côté nos li là c'est comme ça bon dieu révélé à nous-mêmes donc si on continue à lire livre biblan 
c'est comme ça où va commencer ou du moins où va grandir en relation avec bon Dieu. Number two, I told you that we have, uh, I have two for sure, the way that you can grow a relationship with God. The second one is spend time with God in prayer. Like any other relationship, if you are in a relationship right now, you speak to that person on a regular basis. You communicate to each other on a regular basis. That's how you keep the relation alive. It's not different from your relationship with God. God wants you to speak with him on a regular basis. God wants that open communication with you. Do you pray to God? Do you ask God for forgiveness of your sins? Do you go to God and say, God, thank you for everything you've done for me? Have you ever taken the time to go to God? Just tell him how awesome that he is. Même gens, les ou non relation avec yon lot moun, ou pas tant que moun sa n'importe jou, la pa ou un ti mot dou, et mais c'est même gens, bon Dieu besoin tout, ou pali, yon mot de remerciement, ou di bon Dieu comme on apprécie l. Même gens, n'importe le ou ka levé ou di madame ou, I love you, ou bien ou di madame ou, you beautiful, vice versa. God is expecting the same thing. An open communication, an open line to grow the relationship with God. In Psalm 17, verse 6, it says, I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. There, God is waiting for you to come and open a communication line with him. La, Psalm 17, verse 6. L'eau crié, bon Dieu tendeu, and he's waiting for that relationship. Now, we know two ways of uh, starting or growing a relationship uh, with God. Now, you're asking me, what the benefit? Well, why should I? What is the benefits of having or growing a relationship with God first? Well, I have two that I can share with you. When you have a relationship with God first, God will place or provide the right people in our lives to have relationship with. This is one of the benefits. Le ou gen relation avec bon Dieu avant, sa bon Dieu fait, li prepare ou bien li choisi lot moun pou ou pou kapab gen relation avec yo. Mais si lo gen relation avec bon Dieu, premier. Nous songez uh, vers ce qui dit chercher premièrement royaume bon Dieu et toute l'autre bagaille à venir après seeking first the kingdom of God you remember that verse this is it when you have a relationship with God first God will create and God will place the right person for you to have relationship In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, he said, 
by his divine power has given to us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him or who call us by his own glory and goodness. Everything is provided to us. The second benefits of having a relationship uh, with God, God will create a clear purpose for our relationship with others. C'est l'autre bénéfice. Là. Bon Dieu a créé vraie raison pour relation que vous gagnez avec l'autre monde. God will do that. Clear purpose. Sometimes that we don't understand the purpose. But when we come to know the creator, when we start embracing his uh, will or his purpose in our lives, he begins transformation in our lives. Si nous connaissons le Créateur, nous allons commencer une relation ensemble avec lui. Le ça, il commence à créer une purpose ou une relation par où ensemble avec l'autre monde. Et nous, Romans 8, verse 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his, to this purpose. We, when you fait tout bagay, allez bien, ou purposely. At the beginning, I said, most of the time, we look in men or we look in people for what only God can do for us. And this morning, I'm asking you not to look on people, but first, it's okay to look on people. It's okay to de depend on people. But first, I encourage you to look up to God first. Have a relationship with him first. I saw this illustration on the internet by Pastor Michael Todd. And I thought I would share it with you this morning. What happened, I suggest or I encourage that you have a relationship with God first instead of people. This is us. We represent this. This is our lives. When we wake up in the morning, instead of go on our knees and start praying, we start taking care of our kids. We do everything else. This is our children. Get them ready for school. No time to pray. No time to read the Bible. When we have a problem, Instead of going on our knees and seek God first, we start calling people and asking for suggestions. But remember I said, the Bible has every solution for every problem. Instead of going in the Bible, find a solution for your problem. This is what we do. We start calling people. Les non levés les matins, au lieu d'aller souger nos noms pour nous dire bon Dieu merci pour soirée, 
nous commencer à prendre petit nous yo n'a préparé yo pour l'école préparé boîte lunch pour mari nous n'oublier si bon dieu existait donc nous régler tout bagaille personnel nous yo les non malades au lieu nous chercher bon dieu premièrement nous courir à l'école le docteur mais pas oublier que bon dieu c'est docteur par excellence when we are sick what do we do straight to the emergency room straight to the doctor it's okay god has used them powerful way there is no problem of going to the doctor that's not what i'm saying however seek god first in everything everything in the afternoon when you come back to work you didn't have time to do it uh, that morning i understand but when you come back the same process preparing dinner for the husband for the children no time for god no time to read the, the bible and when it's time for us to take a little break what we do we grab the phone and start calling people and when we call people what do we do instead of praying with them we start gossiping so this is us we put everything else first we put everybody else first no time for god this morning as your brother i am in the same case i am right here with you but at the same time i'm here to tell you it is not too late it is not too late although you put everybody else everything else before god god still want to have a relationship with you and we still can replace everybody else and put god first it is not too late and when we begin to have a relationship first with god when we begin to say god i am sorry i put everybody else before you i put everything else before you now i realize my mistake now i want to have a relationship with you first now when you wake up in the morning instead of starting getting your kids ready what do you do you go on your knees and you pour god instead of preparing meals or lunch for your husband you grab the bible and you start reading the bible as you reading god starting to reveal himself to you when you come back in the afternoon when you call people instead of a gossiping you start praying with them you calling god into let their lives when you sin you go before god and you ask her for forgiveness and you want god to know that you love him you spend time with him this is what you're doing you're pouring god into your life you're praying every day i want you to notice something here i want you to notice this
this is a lesson all these people you put before god it's okay some of them will still be around those are that's necessary in your life god will keep them around but the one that's are not the one that's are destroying you instead of helping you you see what happened that's when you put god first it's okay to have people in your life it's okay to have relationship with people mais pas oublier nous te dit que bon dieu besoin relation avec vous avant tout le monde ça au côté mettez avant mon dieu hein? pas de problème non mais l'eau décider quand tu te quitter bon dieu hein? ou venir ramasser ou commencer mettez bon dieu dans la vie ou connier bon dieu commencer révéler lui à vous même et tout le monde que tu mettez avant lui ça qui est important pour vous ça ca et d'eau dans la prière l'ont tombé yo ça cabo bras pour lever l'ont tombé yo il a prêté là mais bon dieu a avant mais ça pas nécessaire ça cap détruit la vie ou yo ou après l'éternel a metté au dehors dans la vie ou. my last question to you this morning are you ready or willing to have a relationship with God this morning? For some of you, this might be your very first relationship with God. For some of you, you are in a way rekindle your relationship with God. Maybe for some of you, you're still confused. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. That's okay. I am here to tell you again. It is not too late. You still can start or equal a relationship with God. As the worship team is coming up uh, to sing with us. I want you to take this opportunity to see if based on everything that you hear, everything that you saw, if you are ready or if you are willing to have a relationship with God. This is your opportunity. We are going to pray. I am going to pray. I am going to ask God for that relationship. I am going to say, God, I'm sorry. I put everybody else before you. But now I realize my mistake. I realize where I fell. And now I am embracing you. If you want to do the same thing, please join me as we go before the Lord and ask God to fill us. Retire tout sa que me te mette avant yo. Sa ki bon yo kembe yo. Mais sa ki pa bon yo, jeti yo. Would you go before the Lord with me? Jésus, notre vie, moi, 
just like the message said I would like to give you the opportunity this morning to give your life to Christ is there anybody like that that would like to make a decision of faith this morning coming to church doesn't make you a Christian reading the Bible does not make you a Christian it is a relationship with Jesus Christ that's what makes you a believer of Christ it is knowing him and walking every day in intimacy and in faith with him and if that's you, just lift your hand. I would like to pray for you. Si c'est vous même, on est levé même, on va même prier pour vous. Wherever you are, in your seat right now, you can make that decision of faith in Jesus' name. Is that you right now? Anybody in this room? Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for this word. I thank you, Lord, that you are convicting hearts. Those who are away from you, those who are... Um, away from you and their relationship with you is not where it should be God we ask Father God that you would convict us of our sin convict us of our ways God that are not pleasing to you so that your name can be glorified so that your name can be lifted up again Lord we thank you we bless you we pray in Jesus name amen amen thank you you may be seated merci ou temet chita na présence pour Dieu matin hallelujah and before we end this morning, I just want to um, give you an opportunity to honor the Lord with your offering. Avant que nous finissions, nous avons une opportunité pour honorer mon Dieu avec offre à nous. Si vous l'avez pas aimé présenter offre à nous à l'Éternel, il y a plusieurs façons qu'on est capable de faire ça. There's many ways for you to do that. You can scan your QR code, the QR code that's on the on the screen, um, code QR qui est sous écran, on est capable de scanner lui. Um, or you can go to Zelle. Our Zelle address is hello at ChristCity.live. Or you can do a cash, or you can do a check. If you're doing a check, you can make it payable to Christ City Inc. Donc, il y a différentes façons, il y a plusieurs façons qu'on est capable de présenter offre à nous. I'm going to encourage you, um, those of you um, who want also to present your tithe, you can also present your tithe unto the Lord. Here at Christ City Church, we don't see offering as something that we have to do. We see it something as we get to do. We get to support the kingdom. We get to support the kingdom of God. It's such a privilege and an opportunity to know that in Jesus' name. So if you like an envelope, one of our serve team members will give you an envelope. Si vous avez aimé envelope, you équipe serve team now, a fait ou joindre envelope. Simplement levez main, just raise your hand, and you will get one um, an envelope in Jesus' name. I'm going to give you a few seconds to finish filling out your information, and then after that, uh, I'm going to ask you to come to the front to present your offering in Jesus' name.
come to the front and present your offering either in this basket or in this basket. Kunya ka passe devant pour présenter offrande soit dans basket ça ou bien dans ça qui là. You can do that now in Jesus name. so the YouTube viewers they can see the slide and if they would like to present their gift they can also do so those who are on YouTube too much hallelujah Lord I bless the offering of your people I bless the offering of your children we pray, Father God, that you would keep them. We pray that your grace would surround them always for the glory of your name, God. We pray for creativity. We pray that doors that are closed would be opened in Jesus' name. Those who are sick will be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are sick will be healed for the glory of your name. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Honor you, and then we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Before I end, the Lord just put in my heart Is there anyone that's sick that would like prayer? Anybody in this place that is sick that would like prayer? Avant que nous finissions, bon Dieu fait, mixtu comme si vous m'avez qui malade, qui t'a 